the lounge has a balcony inside. As we are carrying a mattress to get out of one of the bedrooms, someone pushed the mattress and Jimmy fell off the balcony. And he survived by a whisker. But at least him was a little younger. But me was quite elderly. And I bent my back. And I hit my back like ten times. And I commanded the bone to be put back to position. In Christ Jesus. The bone came out where it had entered. And the time I got up. And I tried to bend again. And I jumped. I am an athlete. There is no woman in this church that can run faster than Pastor. Because I know to run. I try to run. Then I raise my hands. But today we are giving back to children. Let's be the name of Jesus. Uliriza. Listen. Uliriza injiri. This is Isaiah's prophecy. So children of God, I want to declare to you now, and through deliverance, that we are in for year. I want to tell you by faith, your disease has ended. HIV has gone. Cancer has gone. Every disease I'm talking about, I've ever prayed and people have testified. I am not in propaganda. I've seen those who are positive before getting healed. I've seen cancer going away. Broken bones through accidents. And a bone gets restored and someone kills you. Because there's a man that died on the cross. For your sake and mine. Poverty has gone. As children of God, we are not poor anymore. I'll preach of the cross. Praise the Lord. I've started in prophecy. And of several thousand years before the man saw and he beheld unto Christ's church being healed because of the cross before you thought of your existence and was not even imagined before praise the Lord God prepared prophecy that passed saying that you have to be wealthy that you have to be healthy as well and this is what I say I am not going to die now. I am not sick. Diseases that torment my people in the land. If my assurance of living long was 50-50, I would be lying. I don't promise for cancer. Not even diabetes. I'll never seek out in my life. I'll never see pressure. Uh -huh. Not even ulcers will ever see my life. Uh -huh. Yeah. So issues of uh, medicine into my blood. <laughs> so that disease that frequents your life weakens you. Because whenever you fall sick, your immunity reduces. So I don't fall sick of such diseases. I must live long. Let's be the name of Jesus. And these days I work a lot. But the weight I've gained is because I've not been working frequently. But I got another assignment. And yet I travel a lot. And I play volleyball. Say amen. I play for two hours. And I play at the, at the most tough point. A place that doesn't rest. Whenever you are the net, you're busy. 
Because the game rotates around that number. I play for three hours. I went to be this people to All the people who are in CC know how to play volleyball. I went with a small team. And those who even didn't know how to play. <laughs> And they thought they were playing against the coach in Kampala. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said, I think Muzay is the national coach. Because I am full of life. That's a sign that you can talk of life. And yet you have it. I was sick before and Jesus healed me and I'm sure he, healed. he first healed me when I sought him I've seen him healing others I've seen him performing miracles I've seen him on crusades I've seen him in church as well for 20 years I've seen Jesus performing miracles in the name of Jesus crying this is my year of my deliverance my sorrow has gone whoever will follow me and with the bliss he will receive another life in the cross of Jesus that's where all life is that is sure and when you are suffering you are yet to follow Jesus See how you're not clapping. <laughs> because the pastor is deceiving. We are not deceived. How can he say that we've not yet followed Jesus? Even the Catholic has the same mentality. You can't tell the Catholic that they don't have Jesus. You can't tell the Adventists that they don't have Jesus and see. Even in the born against church, that religion has come in. So where is Jesus? <laughs> Jesus is here today. And is in his word. Whenever you do as the word instructs you, you started following Jesus. When the gospel comes and tells you to follow me, and you start seeking him, you started following the man, you started walking in his footsteps that lead you to your victory. Whenever you disobey God's word, you've not followed Jesus yet. Whenever you follow His word and you believe and go into it, it will enter into your life, it will bear life in you. And the life that Jesus died on the cross for, the very reasons He died for the cross, the reasons why He was beaten, will enter into your individual life. I pray God helps you. So Jesus' power and Jesus' life lies in his word. Blessed be the Lord. I have my children that work in Soweto. Some of them remain there, yet they are ministers. But I told the girls that travel on the track that it's your drivers that torture you. People who travel by the track got fed up of it. Chichusa. They normally travel from Luero to Chichusa. And they get out of the truck and move around. And the others on the truck like Matoke. Praise the Lord. And sometimes they leave late knowing they are coming. I told them the more you travel late in the night, your chances of getting help when you 
experience a problem and minimize. The Baganda said that he who moves during day is hindered. Whenever you travel during day, when you get a challenge, response comes in easily. That was a statement I was giving them as their master. But the more you live a life of disobedience, the more you will suffer. And then you get uh, vehicles breaking down and you spend the nights out there. Because you travel late in the night. But once you beg God is word. Mm. <laughs> Their clothes are here. They are in Uero. And they spend the night there. They hold it. They are out. And they came here at 4 a.m. What did you buy for the people who are on the track? Why is it that when you're going to Luero, the vehicle doesn't break down? Why do you break down at night? Blessed be the name of Jesus. That is disobedience. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Jesus is in this place speaking. But we not yet, yet accept God's word. People are still bound with demons and evil spirits. Through you confess salvation. But you are yet to move. To follow Jesus. That is why you are still bound. The power of salvation. I I always say that the salvation is power. When the salvation comes in your life, that is the measure of anointing. That overcomes your enemies at that level you own. I call it first salvation. I call it of locos of Vedia Vedia. President of Prima Futa. In it there is anointing to overcome your parents. Even though they hinder you to come for fellowship, it doesn't stop at overcoming just people. But it's power that overcomes Luvare, O witchcraft and sorcery of your clan. When you get saved, Blessed be the Lord. I always testify. And I don't fear testifying. I got born again while staying with my sister in Chibuli. And uh, I did not know that someone can remain, spend some time in salvation <inaudible> while still bound. <inaudible> It's the time I've spent in church that I've discovered that people take long to be delivered and others to be delivered. Because of my kind of salvation I received, I was a young lad because I got born again at the age of 22. But before I got saved, there's a girl I had a relationship with but the girl refused me in the beginning. beginning. I think she was older than by about uh, three or four years. She despised me and refused an affair But young guys normally have a lot of love, lust. And I felt this lust overpowering me. And she used to frequent passing by where I used to reside. And my sister asked me that my brother, what happened to you? What's your problem? My sister was called a Hawa Nantume. So I shared and I told her that this girl called Jimia she was a Nubian. I told her that I love Jimia but she refused my proposal. And she asked me, do you really love her? My sister was not a joking subject. <laughs> she was a city lad. And she told me, don't mind. I'll surrender Jimia to you. I don't know the words she used with, to, Jimia, to, to convince Jimia. And she came before me and told me, I overcame Jimia's. <laughs> the other one was also <laughs> a prominent halot. 
and ask myself how did the singer wabba and the wind Jimmy has a hat and she asked me do you have money she despised me but I felt I loved her I said I can't love anything like you but my sister managed her and she came and told me I managed her so we met Jimia. Now this is a very bitter story. The same way I loved her is the extent at which I hated her after. So Jimia approached my sister and told her that did your brother come to play about with me? And my sister approached me and said, What happened to you? You were dying because of this girl. Now she's here. You what does she have? Nothing. What is the problem? Tell me what happened. And I told my sister, I just don't love Jimia. And my sister. <laughs> Not understand After something like a month, Jesus visited me. I always preach to you that, that gospel. While I was smoking my cigarette, praise the name of Jesus. The man manifested, opened the door. And the bright light had never witnessed before came in. He was putting on a cream tonic with a leather belt around his waist. This man is not very tall. And he raised his hand and told me, Come to me, you is tired and heavy laden. And demons started living my life. And demons left me. After something like two weeks, I meet Jimia having fallen sick. Aids of those days would weaken you in just. She was very sick. She used to trade in Kasese. While she was climbing Chibuli Hill and I'm going to walk, I found her seated on the pavement resting. She had lost a lot of weight. She was shattered and asked her, What is wrong with Jimia? And then she said, Everyone will mourn. What I am, just be sure you also see it in your life. And she threw a scat missile in my life. When I knew that she was serious, I said, Whoa! I got saved! When I got saved! 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 <laughs> the man called me. The man that met me. If it is HIV virus, he burnt it out of my blood. <laughs> I didn't speak such words joking. But I was feeling fire sourced in me. And after telling her those words, I walked away from her. The truth, I did not think about them every day. And just imagine at 22, 21. Because I got served at 22. At the age of 62, I am not sick. President of Jesus. As she said that everyone would mourn to me. I've met Jesus before. I entered the city with the acute sinuses. One day I was going to kill myself. I had a problem for about a month. I always share with you my story. Praise the Lord. And I look for razor blade 
Think that when I cut this vein open, I'll get some relief. The doctors told me after that you are going to die that night. But what I was looking for a razor blade. The finger hit the razor blade off the stone. And I could not turn to pick it. And my sisters who had never mourned before were started to cry. Grace just reached out to me then. But my mother says that you need to have that headache. Because the half father died while reciting the rosary. And my auntie that got married in Vira died of the same migraine. And also attended her funeral. And she told me, You, my son, also yeah, died of the same Zara. And my own mother. I yet had not and had met Jesus. The headache had seen. And someone's also strong with me and stopped. How do you dare tell me? How do you tell me? What is it that you're speaking of me now? That you are also dying. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm in Jesus' plans now. <laughs> Neighbors, start following today. God told us whatever failed before, you've taken it to doctors, you've gone to several doctors. Whatever failed before, this is the year unto which God is going to do great things for you. You just go for tests and you don't have a child anymore. You've got to test and you don't have the ability anymore. You've got to test and everything has changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the King Bigenda of Kings. Things will change unknowingly to you. Bigenda Things will change without you knowing. It doesn't need to fight. Just follow what God is saying. That is what believing Jesus is. You not just say words because you confess something. There are his ways you must follow. There's something you must become. Let's be the name of Jesus. But the gospel in is for deliverance. The cross has each and everything. It has anointing. It has power. It has wealth. It has ministry. The cross. Praise the Lord. He carried all our iniquities. And he carried all our sorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the King of Kings. Blessed be the Lord. He carried. He took it all. Whenever you enter, let me tell you. Sometime in the past, I was attacked by the enemy. Amen. 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 If I did not have God with me, I would have died. But if God called you, I rang Mr. Kasato. And I told him if you delay for any reason beyond two minutes, you will not get me. Because even where I am, no one will pick me from here. But I want to live where I am. And you find me outside the house. I crawled down the staircase. Because I could not stand on my own. Dizziness started uh, hitting me at about uh, 3 a.m. in the night. Because of the great war I was in. And the troubles of home. The doctor told us that uh, the brain had gotten dehydrated completely. And was going to die. Mr. Kasato helped me. Mr. Kasata bought you a new suit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I told him, rush! 
and I crawled while I reached in the corridor I don't know why Murushid passed at that juncture I don't know what brought him while I reached the corridor and I called him Murushid come and support me, come and help me I came with car keys in the pocket and I told him keys are in the pocket carry me he was energetic and he put me in the car for Mr. Kasato is coming just as he lowered the car seat Mr. Kasato arrived and I told him the keys here run drive as fast as you can God saved us that morning there was no traffic jam on the road as we entered the that uh -uh. Lugogo. Oh, Lugogo. The body let go. And I felt I could not hold myself together anymore. But God is good. But every muscle, organ, every organ in me had to release and then I told Jesus you called me to serve you I am not prepared to die now when I was seeking you in Bukoto you spoke with me and told me that I will not die so I am not going to die now so the body regained the strength by the time we reached the yard, the Electro Commission Isle, I started losing senses. <laughs> By the time we reached the hospital, I had slipped into coma. Very first, I was a doctor that knew me in Chibuli. And I have three doctors who are my friends there. <laughs> And that's what is wrong. Is this so they put me on a stretcher and rushed me. And they put transfusions on me. They told me that nine pints of transfusions of IVs. <laughs> but while I'm in coma. So they drew my blood and went to test each and everything. And they approached Mr. Kasato and Jimmy. Daddy wamwe, and told them that your daddy is in coma right now. Titumani, we don't chitako. know Na ye, what will happen next, but e what is the problem? What is killing him? Singa na if God helps him to come back to normal, yeso e tell him to let go of whatever it is that is causing him this problem. Simani, uh, I was in coma for two consecutive hours and I came back and opened my eyes. Well, I was there, the doctor came and asked me, Nyanza, are you back? And he told me, you are gone. <laughs> According to your age that you've put on your medical record, we drew enough of it we've tested each and everything I've not found any infection or any disease but according to the diseases that torture people of your age diabetes and pressure and all these things because your body is already weakened you wouldn't come back so he asked me what is disturbing you so I just burst into tears. Do you know how many cry? <laughs> and told me it is okay. Release all that is bad in you. So he drew the curtains and told me cry as much as you can. I'll come back and see. 
And after a while, he told me that what you've done Kati is good. Mbolire. Now share with me your problem. And I told him. And he said, you man, you are going to die, but God has restored you. Find your friends, a few of them, those that make you happy, those that bring joy in your life. So there were the chisaches, the mangadas. They know how to joke. Chisache is not good at conversations, but she can sing. Praise the Lord. And the others that joined the group. And to so we get some places that are away from uh, noise and... So I remain with the problem of being brainwashed. By the time I got out of the coma, I could not understand a lot of things around me. Things concerning church. People who remained in place, thank you for having remained. <laughs> but whenever they would hand a microphone to me, I would <laughs> preach. Because the gospel is not mine, it is Jesus's. <laughs> but things concerning building church, I could not understand. <laughs> and I would not even contribute to anything in meetings. I would not even understand what to eat. You don't ask me what to eat and I tell you. But when I guess we are seeing me and preaching, <laughs> Because you're a leader, people don't know that you're dying softly. But I was feeling my life diminishing every day. Because I just escaped from admission in the hospital. And the doctor told me, please don't go. We are taking care of you. And I told him, no, I'm going to church. Blessed be the Lord. While I was on the pulpit here, I want to show you the power of the cross. Even you will sit here, you not going anywhere. Even you are the bleak of church, you not going anywhere. You still have another chance. You still have another chance. You still have other seasons ahead. There is a voice still before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was spiked and beaten. How about against here who are used to me? You familiarize a man who has built a church of this magnitude. And a man who sets up crusades. He prays and miracles happen. Praise the Lord. You still have another voice. But again, you familiarize Jesus so much. Do you know what it means to make a summoned by his stripes? Do you know what they call him? And God to strip himself. And he allows rats to beat him for your sake and mine. The Bible says, and he was punished, tormented. And he allowed to be beaten. Do you know what was done on the cross? You Christian? When you familiarize these words, power that heals cancer, power that resurrects the dead. The moment you familiarize church and you get used to your pastor, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And he's called a robber. And he's even written all over the world. And he gets hold of your theft. Some of us were adulterous before. Praise the Lord. I don't know. I even don't know why he called me. That's why I composed that song, Where Does Grace Come From? Where did grace come from? 
who did that graceful thing when they told Jesus may the brother died and my father who was a very good man he was a peaceful man he was a, a people person people, the whole world of Nyanzi second born Praise the Lord. And he got his second born who just had his character. So I asked God, what is it that you like about me? Me who is very stubborn and naughty. What is it that touched you? And asked him why he loved me. I don't know much about you. But I want to tell you the man is here today. He came to cast your poverty away. Praise the Lord. Come on that torment you. You are called Murokole, born again. Why is it that demons torture you? Rubale causes iniquity in your life. Masmayetika, Oinike, Wafi, Nasitur and Nakuzafi, Nayet Ramrosa and Yakubi, and Yubakuba. I saw sorrow in my father's household. Because I'm speaking of power, I'm enjoying the preaching. I'm going to believe Jesus once again. I'll believe this man. Secondly, there's nothing I say I've gained out of my labor. I don't have any problem. There's nothing I know in the world. And here you saw Kumpomimose. Who can employ me? What is it that I'll do out there? The one who employs me, what will I do for them? What is it that I'll do in their business? But whatever I possess has come by this voice. It has been God. You may be here today. 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 You may be I left them. But for us, we didn't even see our parents. We grew up with no parents. And I said, how old are you? And he told me he's 45. I said, you're still <laughs> complaining for not having parents at 45. And I told him, my mother and father died. And my brothers and sisters. I'm alone in the world. My mother died, and that's the question because, I, because she died of cancer. I said, My son, I'm living in this world. But whom have I left you with? And I told her, I have Jesus. President of Jesus. She's dying. She's two days away from her death. And told me your brothers died. It is me who has remained with you in this world. And I try have remained with Jesus. President of Jesus. And I told him at the age of 45, you're still regretting for not having parents. And I told him, yes, you can walk. Leave your parents alone. Praise the Lord. I don't know what you are today. I don't know the situation you're going through. But there's a man I want you to believe. Deliverance means us going back to salvation. This man will raise you to a level where the world will witness. It doesn't matter if you don't have parents. It doesn't matter if you don't have a husband. A husband, Mwami. And yet you are created as a woman. Even though you are sick, we shall pray. For Jesus took each and everything away. 
with all the world that lies therein it cannot measure up to Jesus' blood I hate you people clap religiously because a ransom was paid for our sake praise the Lord the first gospel I preached said I took to Masaka when I just got in and I told them I was like a bull because I once worked in Rufra I was like a bull that was brought to the abattoir as uh, traders were buying animals every animal paid for was going to be slaughtered it is being taken to the slaughterhouse but while I was waiting to be slaughtered there came a wealthy man and, and there was a trader who came and paid for my price and the animals got from the other and I was got from the slaughterhouse to a farm and I was renewed and everything was restored my age was restored and my health is restored and my work was renewed and my life is put back in place and I'm put in Jesus' farm that was the first message I preached praise the name of Jesus have you not realized yet have you not picked it yet that the man paid the entire price he stripped off his honor of heaven and he humbled himself to the lowest to become what you were meant to be to become what you were before to become your sin I don't know what you are or what you were before but me I was not worthy I don't know why this man called me I don't know I don't know I don't know he humbled himself to the lowest to become he was meant to die such that I am dressed up in his glory and I'm not sick and I'll not be poor anymore to put on his living garment for my disease to go he put on his my disease when he was being smicked and his on the cross he was crucified like a man who is HIV positive he was crucified as a man as were crucifying him with nails 
but the nails and this bloodshed. All those were your diseases. All that was your sin. That was your sorrow in entirety. You died of your disease. Yes, Jesus died of your poverty. It is your poverty that killed him. It is your sorrow that killed this man on the cross. He died in pain. He got out of your sorrow and carried it. Oh my God. What is it that loved about me? The son of uh, the impoverished people. And I'm also dressed with the shoes. Praise the name of Jesus. He humbled himself to appear in your image. And even lowered himself less than yourself. Philippians 5. He even went below the standard. He humbled himself to the lowest. With Nafukomudu. And became a servant. Such that you dress to bless. And you feed well. And you are able to marry and get married. Praise the Lord. Deliverance is for repentance. You live a life of sin. Maybe you don't commit adultery, but you only believe. You only believe alone. You sin. sin. Your only belief is sin enough. Despising God is evil. In the past, the Holy Spirit told me that most born against despise you. That's why most of you are poor. And you don't know how you despise, Pastor. I once went to Luero. And people despised me while I started working. But they didn't know what they were going to get from there. Some of you would have bought Ruero a long time ago. Ruero, Katokori, do. But I want to tell you wait for us tomorrow. Those who come from Ruero. You never Wanga. again see Lausa people. People who work in Luero come out and they see you. This is the last image you're seeing of the ah, people of Luero. And you're going to get good husbands, the daughters. You get good wives. Are they the lousiest in this church today? Are they looking lousy? Basiuf. <laughs> they are also looking for their first portion of land. <laughs> Francis already got his own. Raise your hand. Noli Yagura Yakataka Kajekali. Even my own team. Is and for land. they are just starting. But they had voices despising their effort. Pastor has told them, Where he has gone this money? You planted seedlings and they dried up. And I uh, called them and sat them down. And you people are coming now, you'll never lose your coffee seedlings, they will not dry. Salongo's coffee has now blossomed. Go and look for money to buy more land. We shall be traveling abroad six times a year. We just wake up in the morning and say next week we shall go to Bahamas and we go. As I we shall start from there. I bring that as an example. I've been around with me for a long time. 
When against you saw me coming here, Jamada has one that gave me the first suit I came with. Let anyone come and say that I did show them. Let there someone, let there come someone who will say that I have ever cheated them of their money. When against you only give me tithe. And not all of you pay tithe. I've never requested for money. After all, you can't build this kind of church without a donor. Foreign donations. You even see the place where we are. It's not a place for poor people. When we have factories, industries around our church. But you know where I came from? I come with only the Bible. I come with a mat. With no shoes. I bought a shoe of 30,000 from Katonda. But has been God. It is God who has done and everything you see. I can't have anything that gives me pride. I don't have business. I even don't have brains that can set up business. But there's a way of the cross that we have to go through and we enter into and we bathe in His blood for our disease and all our sorrow and our poverty and our sins. This one thing I'll leave you with because I'm not going to deliverance. Whenever demons still manifest in your life, you still have hereditary sin in your life. You do not find this kind of gospel anywhere else. Whenever they pray for you and demons show, it means that the hereditary sin is still incumbent in you. and all other things that add on to your life like gossip, rumor mongering and the others who zips are never by experience. I speak of such by experience and your personal life you but most I'm stuck on your unbelief I'm not a preacher who preaches of sin of I know as you believe Jesus he has anointing and power to train you out of a sin of adultery and, and you're doing such because you're weak. You're still weak. Sin overpowers you. But when salvation enters your life, the initial anointing will transform you by itself. It will cast diseases away. It will stop sin out of your life. when you fail to get a husband when you're still young you will not overcome you either go to a haji or a witch doctor or someone because Satan has well laid a trap for you you should not get a man I prayed for many of that kind and what Satan is planning is to take you to hell Praise the Lord. There's this tendency of you saying, you know I love the Lord. Even the witches love God. And they speak of him. I hear Mama Fina always saying that God is God. When you ask her, she'll tell you, I love God. Loving God is not all about you saying it. Love is in following God's instructions. Whenever you follow God's way and you believe His word, then you've entered into commitment of love with God. For the Bible says, who commits sin hates God. But maybe at heart you feel you love Him. But your personal ways hate God. Raise up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Bring her back. Bring her back. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Bring her back. Yes. Pakanga to China Maji Maguru. Tara Brio. Nagiro Murilo go hit Temu Magumba go on Musayuka from Saraba Gupunaz. Evening glory shall be here. I feel I want to dwell and stay in church. I feel I want to be in this kind of message. After everything that is prepared, I want to worship and praise God. Praise the Lord. It is a year of transformation. We shall jump high like deer. Salongo wealth has come in already. For God has spoken. And He said, This is the year. Raise up your hands. I'd stand up. <laughs> wow. Evening, we are going back to the same message. I feel like I've just hit on something. Tap the heavens. Think of Jesus' cross. Anointing Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, my God. I worship you, Lord. Come on, 
Yes. Wali waba ntunga ibintu bya mwebiterera. Wazenga to bitegera. Wazenga to bitegera. Na yenda kuyoba kitwara akavuga iskalewo. Ne chizi mucho bachijawo. Ona gendo kwetegereza ngale chichaliwo. Tapinge guru kama kuyamba. Kuchalira, a Chalirama Kago. When it had a sala, touch in the name of Jesus. When it had a about to have a yaw. Vamma Malala, the routine a church. What do you get out of Kamachaga and Bedo Namu? To Alam of Tawama. Tuala mafuta, kude mtuwe deko Yamba ni chisa Katuna wa Ibrahimu, katuna ya kubu Waluwa msajia huyo na mkazi huyo Waluwa bana babu Beta ake chisacho Muli nyali ya mkamafe Obuafu bufa mnyumba ya mwe Povate Ndaba nga duke misinde Kalo mwilo Enyumba ye chuke Touch in the name of Jesus Kule meniru wako na Ebi silane in the name of Jesus. Erinyalio, I'm a footer no kuganja. Abagenda mu marriage. Abagenda mirimo ne business. Echi gambo chewa tu gamanti deliverance. Abantu ba no ba choose sa eroba koma ko. Kuno gumi mwa kagua fe. Obua vuvu gua mukanisa. Abantu kutambula kati ba ina sendi. Kazi kwe. I see the fires burning the devil. Touch in the devil. Come out. Amani ge magombe. Muriyo. Muriyo. Wali wamu yoku kuitam. Sister. Turn on muriyo. To eat each sajori. Obu kabiri zino obu kaga nechtiwa. E guru ni kuvire yo, mumani. Uruenda wosa yenamu, na ukuchukita katonda. Ubrambo buta nikira unate. 
Emirembe jobu wangu zibo Ekitibu kuveri katonda Akuzeyo mchifochili Mwia kutondela Otaniko kuangula wala bebobo na Wala bebobo na Wala bebobo na Wala bebobo na Wala Na yebi koma Wali wo Omutu kwenda Wali koma Bikoma And what do you take that? Tuwala maftagal Katonda wa Ibrahim Katonda ya kwa katonda isa kankwe baza Uruwa batuba na weba litata weba li yesu Na angili ya maftana ya chitiba Nubu gaga mkristo yesu mkamafi Kama haba wechisa Amen Njaka na sete zangi mitu